and they're furious. Well, now the city's mayor says there's been a big mix-up with the proposal. KCAL 9's Bobby Capel has the story. A new proposal by the City of Carson's Planning Commission would prohibit the use of chain link fences that face a street in both residential neighborhoods and applying to some businesses as well. If passed, it would give people three years to comply. They have them for a reason. They have them because that's what they can afford. Penny Subier and Douglas Cheney live in Carson and are concerned about how people are going to come up with the money to replace their current chain link fences. I can understand the beautification that they want to do. Uh, but I think they're creating a hardship on some of the residents. I'm retired. My husband's retired. There's only so many dollars coming in. Do I have to make a loan I can't afford because the city doesn't like my fence? Shane Link is very ugly. Jim Deere, Carson's mayor, says while he supports the ban on some business fencing, he also says there was a mix-up somewhere along the line and that residential fences were never supposed to be a part of the ban. He opposes that. That was not my initiative, not, never part of the initiative from the mayor's office, and so there's a little bit of disconnect there. Another reason residents were so alarmed by the commission's proposal, graffiti. Chain link fences don't typically get tagged. The same cannot be said for other types of fencing. We border right up against big time game, and they just love to come and write. They write on the sidewalk, they write on your fence, they write on the side of your house. Yeah, it's ugly. Despite the mayor's assertion that this was a mix up, those residents we spoke to in the piece say they still plan on bringing a petition against the ban with several signatures to the Planning Commission meeting on February 11th. In Carson, Bobby Capel, KCAL 9 News.